in the light heavyweight division at UFC Vegas 84. You got Magomed Anka Live coming in at 16 and 1, taking on Johnny Walker, who comes in at 21 and 7. And this is a rematch uh, in a fight that really never got off the ground, never got finished, right? It was, fight was stopped early, uh, and therefore we got another fight. So this is Anka Live versus Walker. Two. Now, Magomed uh, stands 6'3", Walker 6'6", so Walker's three inches taller. They're both 31 years old, so you got to like that. Johnny Walker has a long reach, a 7-inch reach advantage, 82 to 75. Both guys stand right-handed. Both guys are just under four significant strikes per minute. Anka Live lands like a takedown every three rounds. Johnny Walker won every six rounds. Anka Live, 86% takedown defense. Walker just 57. So, you know, Angoliev has a little bit of an advantage on the ground, can defend the takedowns. Johnny Walker is slightly uh, a better striker, but all in all, these two match up pretty well. So let's dig a little bit deep, deeper. The last fight, the fight was stopped three minutes and 13 seconds into the first round. And at that point, it was kind of going about the way the stats are set up. It was 14-13 Walker and significant strikes. Angoliev did have a takedown. And that's about right at their average <clears throat> in both areas. Now, before that, Ankalaev also had a draw, uh, a split draw with Jan Blahovic for the title. In a fight that if he would have pressed a little bit more, he might be the champion right now. So he's had back-to-back -back setbacks, a draw, and then a no contest with Walker. So he's losing some steam. But before that, he was on a roll beating Anthony Smith, Diago Santos, Volkan Oez Demir, uh, Nikita Krylov. You know, he came into the UFC... Uh, winning at nine straight fights. That's crazy. You know, so people are starting to forget who this guy is. And this is a big setting for him to get the win. Now, Walker also beating Anthony Smith by decision. Paul Craig by KO. He submitted Ian Kudalaba. So this guy's no joke as well. And he's getting better. It seems like he's getting better. But Anka Live is a heavy favorite for a reason. Um, and we're kicking off the year with the first main event. And we got to get off to a 1-0 and start. So I love to say or go with Johnny Walker because I want him to actually win this fight. I got to be realistic and say who is going to win this fight. And that's going to be Magomed and Goliath. So, you know, if we were later in the season and we're like 24 and 10 and we want to take a chance, maybe we go with Johnny Walker. But in this case, we're beginning the season. We got to get off to a 1-0 and start and I got to calm down and keep it realistic and say and Goliath is a favorite for a reason, but I don't know if he should be a five to one favorite. That's a little bit much for me. I do think Johnny Walker has an opportunity to win this fight um, because he's getting better. You know, he had a, a few setbacks uh, right in the middle of his UFC career up to this point. And over the last several fights, he's beginning to get better and better and better. So look for a much tougher fight than the odds would indicate. But Anka Live will still pull this thing off and he can't afford a slow paced uh, boring fight after the last two. So he's got to get the win here uh, in dominant fashion. Uh, in, and in doing so, he'll move to 19-1. I mean, he's gonna not going to outstrike Walker, I don't believe. But once he gets this fight taken to the ground, it may allow him to outstrike him that way with the ground strike. So we'll see. But either way, in my opinion, Ankalaev wins to move to 19-1. Light heavyweight division, UFC Vegas, 84.